Drex here from Drex Factor Poi, sharing with you the love of poi spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain. And today, I have a brand new combo, a brand new poi routine to walk you all through, especially for you beginners out there. Before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow DNA, Flow Fests, Flow Toys, Juggling Calling, Pyroterra Light Toys, Spin Balls, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these amazing companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. Oh my goodness, so it feels like it's been forever since I've done a really oh truly oh beginner level poi combo, am I right? I've had a lot of fun in the past few months playing around with various things that I just discovered in the course of my flow and everything, but it's also good for me to remember that the vast majority of you all out there don't really care about doing around the head 1.5s into spiral wraps. Sometimes you just want stuff that's going to make use of the tricks that you already know. And this is a combo that's only going to require you to know three tricks, that's right. Uh, for this one, you're going to want to know how to do your basic down stalls. As well as how to turn with your arms and together opposites. And finally, how to do the venerable buzzsaw. So with the exception of the buzzsaw, which we will go through in the course of this video, you can find tutorials on how to do each of these tricks at the links down in the description, as well as up in the cards if you happen to be watching this video on YouTube. I will take you through this combo full speed before I break it down for you step by step, and then I will show it to you again in slow motion. Alright, so this whole thing kind of starts from this little position right here where you're in kind of a horse stance with your, uh, basically your heels and your knees separated out a little bit beneath, uh, beneath each of your hips and everything. And your boy are just kind of hanging there. Your hands are basically hanging out directly above your iliac crest and everything. Now we're going to go ahead and start this off by doing a down stall out to the side and you're going to kind of move your body to follow it and then it's going to stall back into the center and you're going to move your body back to the center with it. Now with your left hand, you're going to do the same thing. Stall out to the left, stall back in. Again, you stall out to the right, you come back in, stall out to the left, come back in. You do this twice on each side. Next, we're going to do this with both hands together. Basically, what it's going to mean is we're going to pull the poi up along our center line and reach out with them to the sides. You should wind up in a position that's basically like a butterfly, but the poi are coming up through the middle. Um, and as they're coming up through the middle, you're going to kind of let them go up towards the ceiling and then drop back down. Really what this is, is you're doing an anti-spin pedal out to the side before you stall and let the poi come back down. But I, I hesitate to really call it an anti-spin pedal per se, simply because there's really not that much that happens in the course of that and everything. Uh, we're not doing a full anti-spin flower here, mainly because I wanted to still keep it pretty simple. So here's where the first tricky part comes in. After we've done that pedal out to the side and we stall the poi up, we have to drop and catch them. I still have problems doing this uh, consistently, not the least of which because I'm trying to avoid hitting my microphone here, but basically what we're looking to do is go out to the side, up, and see if you can catch the poi heads. I hope that that did not just make all of your lives very unpleasant on the audio there, and if it did, I'm sorry. All right, now, if you have successfully caught your poi heads, and I hope that you have, your next step here is to kind of throw them down, and that is going to bring your arms out into doing a gigantic big old butterfly with your arms. Now here's the thing, you're not actually going to complete a butterfly here. You're going to turn so that you wind up with the two poi working in wheel plane here. That is, if you look at them down the side and everything, you're going to see yourself working in such a position that one poi is on each side of you. For me, it's that my right hand is going forward and my left hand is going reverse. From here, I'm going to basically turn around so I wind up facing the opposite direction with my right hand poi going reverse and my left hand poi going forwards. Again, you have one poi on each side of your body and as you turn back to face the camera, you're basically going to let your right hand poi drop behind your back and your left hand poi is going to stay in front of you. So that whole bit looks like this. We do the anti-spin pedals out. 
We catch our poi heads as they come down. We throw them down into our turn. We let the right hand poi drop behind us, the left hand poi drop in front of us, yeah? Now from here, we go into the trick that I almost never do. That's right, we're gonna do a buzzsaw. How that's gonna start off is your right hand gets pulled out in front of you, and as it does so, it's gonna start spinning forwards in that buzzsaw plane between your arms. You're then going to pull your left hand poi out to go into that buzzsaw with it. Um, you might have noticed that I'm doing this entire combo with my poi shortened up, and this is why. Um, you want to have your poi going a split time same direction uh, in between your arms here and everything. This is a buzzsaw. I almost kind of think of it as like I'm doing the doggy paddle with, uh, with my two poi in between my arms and everything. You hang out here for just a little while and you bring them both to a stop and that's the end of the combo. So all that from the start. We stall out to the right, bring it back center. We stall out to the left, bring it back center. Stall out to the right, center, left, center. We go up and around, catch the poi heads, yay! Go all the way around, stall right behind, left and front, go down into our buzz saw, and then we bring it to a stop to finish it off. Cool, let's see that again in slow-mo. Awesome. Now guess what? I want to see your version of this combo. Uh, please post a video of yourself doing this combo or whatever it inspires in you to Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube and make sure to tag me. I am Drex Factor or Drex Factor Poi on all those different platforms and I would love to see your hard work. You know what else is awesome besides Poi? That's right, this amazing t-shirt. Uh, this came from the online store of my friend Leana, the Hoop Lady, um, and she has a whole bunch of really amazing designs that you should go check out, including including this amazing one right here. Uh, even better, this is a black owned business. We don't have nearly enough of them in the flow arts, so go check her out at the link. It'll be down in the description. Grab yourself a t-shirt, grab yourself a pillow. There's a bunch of stuff in that shop. Uh, please make sure to support our local businesses and especially support our minority owned businesses. Thanks so much. And if you got anything out of this video, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe in order to help other people find this video as well as help my channel grow. And also, I just want to put out a huge thank you because this video would not be possible without the kind contributions of these amazing folks right here. These are my Flow patrons over on Patreon, and they, along with the wonderful people listed down in the description, help to make this video and all the videos on my channel possible. If you would like to sign up to help support this work that I'm doing, bringing the love of poi spinning and flow arts to the wider world and helping people connect with their brains and their bodies, you can do so by heading over to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and signing up. There you can get early access to all of my content as well as a say in what topics I tackle in the future. Plus which some great extras and behind the scenes content as well. So go check that out. Please and thank you. And if you would like to check out more combo tutorials like this one, I will include a link to a playlist of said videos down in the description, as well as up on screen if you happen to be watching this video on YouTube. Uh, do you have any requests for a trick that you would like to see me integrate into a future combo? Please let me know down in the comments. In the meantime, please make sure to get outside and flow today. It's good for your brain and it's good for your body. And I will see you with a brand new video on Monday. Thanks so much for watching and have a good one. Peace.